The exchange rate of a currency is the value of a currency with respect to another currency. The exchanging of currencies take place in a foreign exchange market. In this market people buy, increase demand, and sell, increase supply, of the domestic currency. The supply of a currency increasing means locals are increasing their supply of domestic currency in the forex market causing its exchange rate to depreciate against other currency. The demand of a currency increasing means foreigners are increasing their demand for the domestic currency in the forex market causing its exchange rate to appreciate against other currencies. Fixed Exchange Rate In a fixed exchange rate system, the government fixes their domestic currency to another currency or bank of foreign currencies and will intervene to maintain this fixed value. If market forces put pressure on the exchange rate to change, the government will intervene to return it back to its desired, fixed, value. Advantages of Fixed Exchange Rate Firms buying and selling products abroad know exactly the amount they will pay and receive in terms of their own currency. Disadvantage of Fixed Exchange Rate If the government cannot maintain an exchange rate at a given parity it might have to change its value. A depreciation in exchange rate should lead to a rise in demand for a country's exports and a fall in demand for imports. As imports become too expensive, the balance of payments should improve. Exports improve. As exports is a component of AD, this will lead to more output produced by the country and will create more employment. There will be increase in income and economic growth increase. However, because exports is a component of AD, an increase in exports will lead to the shift of AD to the right and might also lead to inflation increasing. The economy might also suffer from imported cost push inflation as imports of raw materials are now more expensive due to depreciation the domestic currency. One. An appreciation of the exchange rate should lead to a fall in demand for exports and a rise in demand for imports, the balance of payments should get worse. 2. When exports fall. As exports is part of the AD, real output will fall which leads to unemployment increasing. Economic growth will be reduced. 3. However, the volumes and the actual amount of income and expenditure will depend on the relative price elasticity of demand for imports and exports. Refer to Marshall Learner Curve. 4. Imported raw materials for use in production will be cheaper and this will reduce cost push inflation and lower the cost of production in a country. People's purchasing power will increase and exports will improve.